Hey, it's your girl Riga Ruby, actress and comedian, on the set of Mike Check, the stylist B. Mike Check with 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 stylist B. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the set of Mike Check with me, the one and only stylist B, season three. I am here today with actress, comedian, and content creator, Miss Riga Ruby. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Thank you so much, B, for having me. Listen, thank you for stopping by. I'm always having a good time when I see you because you come with the jokes, you come with the laughter, but you come with the craft. Okay. You understand? We're going to get yes. into that. But before I get started, I might have missed something. So I want you to look into the camera and tell everyone who you are and what it is that you do. It's your girl, Riga Ruby, um, native of New Orleans, Louisiana, um, actress, comedian, writer, stand up comedian, sketch artist, um, sketch comedy artist. Um, I'm glad to be here tonight and I'm glad to talk about some stuff. Um, Let's get into it. Let's get into Thank it. You, Thank you for coming. So listen, since we're going to get into it, I want to know how you got into acting, first of all. Let's just start there. Um, well, I started, um, like, you know, I, from a little girl. I always had a really big, grand imagination. Mm -hmm. I remember having an imaginary friend uh, from early as about three or four years old. My mom saw that. Um, she cultivated it as much as she could. I actually grew up um, in church right right in a block over at New Home. Mm -hmm. And I did some of my first performances there as far as like Christmas shows, like history programs mm -hmm. at church, school, etc. cetera. Um, and, you know, my mom, she made sure I cultivated it. Noka, things as such. Um, just stayed active in it from a child up until now. Okay. And I didn't know you went to Noka. If you are from New Orleans, you already know that is for the talented and gifted in arts. So you're doing acting there as well? Yes. Okay, I see you. I see you. <laughs> All right, so then we become an adult. We're like, okay, you know, I've been acting for a minute and I want to make this a career. Because that is not. Okay, <laughs> listen. I, I met an actor before. He's uh, He was like, if you could do anything else, do that first. Because this is a really hard industry to stay in, have longevity, and to see success that you want to see. So what was that like deciding to, like, for real be committed to this craft? Um, I'm a crazy person. <laughs> <laughs> Agree. Agree. <laughs> you know, uh, anybody who takes this on seriously, you know, nobody else takes you seriously. Yeah. Um, so I had to really step into it and really own it. Mm -hmm. And um, really say, you know, this is what I'm going to do. I remember when I was in high school, we had a guest speaker to come, a guest actor, and he said, um, this is something you had to love. He mm -hmm. was like, it's not gonna, you're not gonna be able to stick to it unless you love it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, you gotta just be somebody crazy who, <laughs> <laughs> that part. who loves the craft, um, loves it for the art, mm -hmm. and loves it for um, what it's for, and it's to serve an audience, and it's to bring entertainment, and it's to serve the craft. Yeah. I love that. I love that. Now, do you still train, like, as an adult? How are you keeping your talent sharp? Well, um, believe it or not, B, uh, when I'm doing my Jeanette the Genie stuff, when I'm uh, recording my shout-outs, mm -hmm. uh, turning the camera on in my car, turning the camera on in my room, mm -hmm. uh, I get a chance to check the sound. I get a chance to see if I'm moving my shoulder too much. Mm -hmm. I get a chance to see if I'm blinking too much. Training my cell phone film in my room. Yeah. It's 2020, and uh, you got to just take hold of your own stuff. You can't wait for nobody. Right. If you don't have the money to pay for the classes for training, you have to go on YouTube and learn it and do it over and over. Repetition. That's This yes. is about repetition, and honestly, be it's about just practicing it in my own space. I love it. I love it. And you know what? I love that you say that because obviously we all know that we've been dealing with a pandemic. And I was going to ask you, you know, how have you been able to stay? But that's it right there. You've been training. You've been working in your own space, you know, not being able to, even if you wanted to at one point, go out because mm -hmm. we were all locked in, you know. So the idea that you've been kind of staying home and still practicing, I think is brilliant. So you mentioned a little character, Jeanette, the genie. Where the hell that came from? <laughs> Girl. <laughs> I love her. My own crazy imagination. I, um, I'm a Pisces, sun and moon. I love mystical arts. Mm -hmm. I love astrology. 
I love um, clairvoyant people. I love tarot. I love I love all of that. So I found myself watching a lot of um, YouTube videos with different astrologers mm -hmm. just to be curious. I don't live my life by it. I'm a faith-filled person. Right. Very spiritual. But you can be interested in still, yeah, yeah, I you get know, it. I'm an artist, so, you know, I'm open to just all types mm -hmm. of doctrine or whatever. So um, I was like, you know, what if it was somebody who was hood? <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm from New Orleans. Look, I'm from New Orleans. We always want to put a little, you know, a little Xanderas, a little something on it. I'm like, what if it was somebody like close up in the camera, just like, girl, like really? So, you know, bored. I was like, I need some goals. I was like, I don't got that right now. I was like, I could do for you. Yes. <laughs> Every time I'm I see you, you know, Jeanette, mouth is different. Okay, but she be fully committed. That's what makes it funny. And then you're so brilliant about it. When people started picking up on it, like, oh, this is funny. You're like, birthday shout outs. Like, they can DM you for birthday shout outs. And, and somebody just, I had a follower to be like, can you just say something for my birthday? And they loved it so much. And I posted it on my page. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I had people to say, you ain't even have to, you ain't even have to say, uh, ask me if you want one. I'm getting one. And so that's when I was like, okay, y'all like it? So Yeah. And no, I think it's brilliant. Thank I'm you. I'm like, Thank yeah, you, yeah get your coin too. <laughs> DM me. <laughs> Cause it's fun, but I mean it's work, you know, or at least a cash app, a donation me. or something. It's work. But I, I I really love it. It's creative, it's innovative. You. And you know, we're gonna play a little game later. Yes. So they can get I'm a little taste. Yes. But um that's not the only comedy you've done. You've been a part of like big sketch shows here mm -hmm. you, you partner with a lot of i would say really really um established and well-known comedians to do some comedy skits so how did some of those opportunities come about um staying staying on the scene mm -hmm. staying there even if i didn't have a show being there supporting sharing um being late night at rehearsals mm -hmm. you know bringing my daughter with me asking my mama to watch her all day from mm -hmm. work till i get home putting that time in yeah really. Well, it's paying off. Thank you. And baby girl's getting big. How old She's is she? She's nine now. Girl. We just had Taco Tuesday night. She was with me and my girl sitting mm -hmm. up. <laughs> oh, she, she probably heard some stuff. She should. <laughs> but, yeah. I think many right of these babies have. <laughs> <laughs> right under me. Right under me. Yes. And mm -hmm. you mentioned writing, too. So, what are you writing right now? Um, I, Right now, um... You know, I found myself. I found myself at a, a block and a halt because of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize how it was affecting me. Yeah. I guess in my artist uh, sector, um, when I got when I felt that block, that's mm -hmm. probably what it was. So really, now I'm just really now starting to write more stand up material. Mm -hmm. And I like I like stand up. I like Ooh, I had different. It, I know Ooh. I know, but I like to see women doing it. Um, I like the the wave that we were going into right before COVID Girl, happened. Black women specifically. Yes. So I was super excited about that. And you know, I don't specifically do stand up, but you know I had my takeover, the yeah, comedy. Well, well, yes. yes. And it's all comedy. So that's why mm -hmm. I loved seeing it because it was all in the same vein of things. So pre COVID we were doing it but we'll be back. We'll be back. But I always love when I when you come on stage I already know I'm laughing. Like I already know I'm laughing, you know? And it's the commitment. And you also did and this is uh a little while ago now, but don't tell me the name of the play. Um House Yes, the wedding party. With Dominique. Yes, you also did that and you played an older character. Yes, I did. She was a who. <laughs> she was a she was a who. So tell me how did you prepare for that role? Um, my grandmother. Okay. <laughs> my grandmother. Right. You know, um, my late grandmother, she passed in 2013. Mm -hmm. She helped to raise me, excuse me. She helped to raise me, and I was there for the last, like, six months of her life. And, mm -hmm. you know, the moment she passed. And she was a big influence on me. Yeah. Big, huge influence on me. I was raised by my mom and my grandmother. Mm -hmm. But she was, like, the rock of yeah. the family. Whenever yeah. anybody needed her to come through, she did. So, her... Just pull. He's like, okay, I got this. And you had to do some singing in that. Girl. Now, yes. was the singing new for you or was that like yes. something? Oh. <laughs> in my room, no, but on stage in front of a lot of people, yes. Yes. Well, you held your own. I did. I had to. Yeah. Well, yeah, so. yeah. It ain't going <laughs> to. Listen, it's live, so okay, you know. it can't be no other way. But I wouldn't have guessed that it was new for you. I would have thought it was something, because, you know, especially with theater, it's a lot of. 
uh, musicals. A I lot like of times, the acting stuff, not yeah. really the songs. Yeah, so I, well, I'm proud of you because you, you owned it. You, I wouldn't have been like, oh, she just new to the same, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have thought that at all. Good, so no, that's you. really really cool that you know you own that. Mm -hmm. So tell me, what's like the goal right now? Um, I'm gonna be doing my one woman show virtually. Mm -hmm. uh, I did it right before the pandemic uh, started on March the 13th. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So I will be doing that virtually. So I would like for everybody to look out for that. I plan to, um, hopefully, I can do it before the year is over. Okay. And it's a cult, It's a a, um, a group of characters. It's five characters that I'll be doing. Um, so it went great. I'll be doing it virtually. So look out for that. And just look out for. I have a movie that I just did over mm -hmm. the weekend that's coming out. That's pretty prominent. It's a short film. Um, so look out for that too. Okay. All right. What's the name of the short film? Um, uh, voices. Um, in the bayou okay mm -hmm. voice is now what's the genre for that um it's a fiction okay novel, yeah. okay mm -hmm. now i know you know voices from the bayou I'm sorry. oh voices from voices from the bayou that's sorry. right that's okay yes. <laughs> so <laughs> i know you do a lot of comedy but you are like well versed in acting it's not just comedy i've seen you do drama well i've heard mm -hmm. right that you can do drama you mm -hmm. can do horror you can do what's like one of your favorite monologues to pull out when it's a drama piece um, I like Macbeth, Lady Macbeth. Mm -hmm. I can, like Lady Macbeth. Oh Lord! Ain't gonna be a lie. Ain't gonna have to be a lie. We don't ask for much here, do we, y'all? Oh my God, girl! I can't. I can't. Even okay, um, you don't have to. You don't have to. Okay. <laughs> Any anything. But I love Shakespeare. Okay, I was gonna say anything dramatic that you can pull so we can get to see that side of you. Um, I love August Wilson. Okay. Mm hmm. Um. I don't even know his name. The police got to stop playing cards. Black boy dead on Bon Bon Drive. I'm not having this baby for nobody. And I ain't got to explain it to nobody. All right, then, to go right into the character. I see you. <laughs> and look, you, you know you did that. That's such a theater thing to do to be like, it's almost like you leave your body, you come back in, and I have arrived, the person that I need to be. Now that's dope, but I would like to go back to something else. So y'all don't know what this is right here. This is a deck of cards. So see, what you don't know is Jeanette uses random cards. Not even just, you went, now, nah, listen, you used to just use the playing cards. I didn't see Uno cards. I, oh, you just pull you out whatever you, whatever you feeling. So I thought it would be a fun little game for those who have not seen Jeanette the Genie. So just kind of see how you roll, how you float, you understand? And we're going to talk about, um, I don't know, the show. We're going to gonna wait for you to wish, well wishes on Mike Check. So we're going to get a, a fortune told for Mike Check with Stylist right, B, okay? Right. We are very excited here. <laughs> y'all don't know what y'all in for. I'm going to hand you the deck because you got the power. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Right. Mm, Mike Check, Stylist B, let's see. about right. community and you got to be vulnerable and you got to be vulnerable thank you thank you miss Jeanette so speaking of being vulnerable what has been the hardest part of con continuing to pursue your acting career amidst everything that's happening uh, right I would say being vulnerable I would say not I guess not having a significant partner there mm -hmm. with me 
Mm -hmm. Um, Even though I know God is there, my mom, but just having that husband or just that firm, significant Mm -hmm. other to be there when I come home from my shows. Even though I love loving and nurturing myself, but I feel like that's something that I would like to add on to it. But I got a strong feeling that that might change a little bit. Well, you know, you don't put it out there now, so the DMs are going to be great. Why don't you tell them what you're looking for since you don't, you know, you, you know, know how they are. That little, you know, that reassurance when I get home, even though I, I do that for myself. But, you mm-hmm. know, ain't, ain't nothing wrong with a little icing on the cake. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, what you say your type was? Chocolate, tall, chocolate, okay. okay. So, let them know. That way the wrong ones don't come okay. in the DM. Okay. I love to be served. <laughs> All right. I love compliments. Okay. I love for you to... Give me stuff I'm not thinking about and that you know I like. I love for you to think about my daughter too. That's just a couple of things. Just a little bit. <laughs> not too much. Not too little. <laughs> so listen, what do you have coming up outside of we know we have the one woman show mm-hmm. coming? What do you want to happen this next year? If you had your way? Uh I would say a feature film. Okay. Yes. All right. I would say a feature film. Comedy? Preferably comedy. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> like, listen, in my comfort zone, let Absolutely. me make you laugh. Absolutely. Yeah. I can always evolve from there, but yes. That's it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, feature film coming up. Nice, loving, caring husband to be, you know, at home for when you get off set. And you will continue to do. Now, if they want the um, Jeanette the Genie to, you know, do a shout out, how do they reach out to you? Okay. So, follow me, please. Instagram, Riga. Ruby guys, it's like Rita, but put a G in the place of the T. R I G A R U B Y. Instagram, Facebook. Um, I'm not on Twitter and TikTok as much as I should be. But <laughs> <laughs> right, that but, boy, it's so many of them. Girl, it's so many. I'm so for that. Okay? I listen. <laughs> I understand. But <laughs> okay. But Instagram, Facebook, Riga Ruby. Please follow me and keep up with me, and I guarantee to. Uh, Make you laugh. That's right. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Facts. Well, I do want to thank you for coming. Yes. I know you could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with us, social distancing. Oh, I um, so I want to thank you for coming. And of course, we always have a gift for those who give freely to oh, us. Wow, thank you. So I'm just going to give you a little something, something. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. It was a little high, but I still call it. right. <laughs> here you go, right here. Oh, a little mic check yes, shirt from I love us. It. Yes. So please, you know, don't be a stranger. Thank you so much. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Stop on by. And you guys, if you haven't already, we are on Instagram. We're talking about social media, right? Yes. We are on Instagram now. That's right. So follow, like, subscribe, YouTube. Um, We have on Anchor now, the podcast version on Anchor. So if you can't watch, although you should want to see all of this. But if you can't, you can listen. Um, So be sure to tune in however you choose. But as long as you're tuning in, we are grateful. And so we will be back next week with another amazing episode. Until next time, never let anyone dim your light or meet your mic. Yes. Peace.